We're here with uh, Terry Mosher, the Montreal landmark institution, who's like a political cartoonist for the Montreal Gazette. So, uh, tell me, Mr. Mosher, what brings you to Comic Con? It might seem rather bizarre, actually. They approached me first a couple of years ago to do it, and I was sort of quizzical about it. I thought, you know, uh, oh, Star Wars characters and stuff, it did not really uh, it didn't seem like a fit. But then I thought about it, and they approached me again. And I think they want to increase Montreal content. Uh, and uh, so finally I said, yes, I'm just very glad I did. Because it's all entertainment, right? Yeah. Uh, and we've had great reaction to this and, uh, and so on. So I think we may even do it next year again, but bring uh, Cesc Chaplot along from La Presse. Okay. He's actually sent me in as a bit of a guinea pig. He said, you go, Terry, and see if it works. the canary <laughs> going down the shaft. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So how do you like it so far? Uh, I think it's great. And of course, it, I think it's probably the business of seeing so many engaged Montrealers wandering around in different costumes and, uh, and all yeah. that sort of thing. It's as if Halloween has come early to Montreal. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a double treat of being That's able right, to dress exactly. up and just like enjoy life. Because I'm guessing it's a good welcome relief from, I guess, a highly charged Montreal political climate and language issues and stuff like well, that. Well, exactly. There's a lot more joy here than, than say, uh, a Quetz Quebec World Convention. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without yeah. saying. That's right. Yeah. Cool. So, um, so this is your first time here. Um, is there anything uh, that you might feel that makes it unique out of all the other Comic Cons, per se, or that's something that Montreal can bring uniquely to this one? Well, I don't know quite honestly, because this is the first time I've been to Comic Con. I haven't been to any of the others, but I've certainly heard the stories okay. that it started out in a small hotel somewhere, and every year has grown and grown and grown, and even this year it's grown, and next year they expect it to be even larger. So I think it's uh, it's nice to get in on uh, on one aspect of Montreal that is really thoroughly enjoyable. That's wonderful. Uh, do you have anything uh, that you're promoting right now, or uh, well, actually, what we have is we're I'm signing books for people. Oh yeah. Uh, we have signed prints of some of my favorite cartoons, and even some some new T-shirts. And that's nice, and we're, we're making some money here. But I think more importantly, it's a question of engaging with people and having very nice chats uh, with Montrealers uh, of all kinds. There you go. From all walks of life. Here. Exactly. Here to enjoy exactly. They're they're well. really enjoying themselves. Awesome. Uh, do you have any projects in the future that you're working on? Cooking? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, I'll, in October, I'll be publishing my 47th book. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it covers the last uh, two years with uh, three different mayors, uh, two regimes in Quebec City, two Quebec elections, uh, the Harper Senate business. So it's quite a good little book, a concise little it's got a comical, a comical history of, uh, of two key years in Canada. Yeah, it's been a highly charged couple of years, and so we need to have that comic relief just to release attention. And Oh, the that infamous. Will, uh, that will be the cover of the book. <laughs> you couldn't think of more uh, infamous book. Right Marlene yeah. There you go. Yeah. The, wrecking the wrecking ball. ball. <laughs> exactly. Good. Well, thank you. you. Have any last words for us? Uh, no, that's book? fine. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. It's been thank a you very pleasure. much. So, Bob, what brings you to uh, Montreal Comic Con this year? Uh, I went to. We went to the Comic Con in Ottawa. Uh, back when was that? In May, same people, and they said, "Oh, you got to come to Montreal." So here we are. Yeah, yeah. Which one do you like better, if you don't mind? Uh, you know what? Uh, You're getting love these It's places. it's just as nice, you know. I think maybe this was a little bigger, but uh, seems like there's more people. Yeah, but maybe yeah. it's just it's less. It's nice, yeah. But you can still feel the same amount of like love. Yeah, except yeah, a lot except of I just can't read any of the signs. You know. Yeah. yeah. Sort of not not speaking very much French, so but otherwise, yeah, it's awesome. As long as you're having a good time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. So you're obviously known for Ben and Stimpy, and you've worked on a bunch of other. Uh, oh yeah, I, st I started out uh, working in Marvel Comics on uh, um, Crazy Magazine, and then I got into doing regular comic books, Conan, The Nam, GI Joe, things like that. And after that, I got into animation, working uh, on uh, Thundercats. Uh, and I worked on a lot of shows at Rankin Bass, Thundercats, Silverhawks, Tiger Sharks, things like that. And then moved out to LA and started working on uh, 
the real Ghostbusters. And then after that, it was Tiny Toons and Ren and Stippy, and then a hundred other shows since then. Yeah. Yeah, so you've been very prolific in that 90s animated era. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And then you moved on to, I guess, more films and like more animated films. Sure, I worked on a lot of movies. I worked on, I, I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but I worked on The Grinch, uh, Osmosis Jones, uh, Ice Age 2, Robots, uh, Cats and Dogs, Looney Tunes Back in Action, uh, uh, God, I can't even remember, you know, a lot though, yeah. Well, it's a pretty, it's a very full career, yeah. do you have anything in the future that you're working on right now? Or uh, right now I'm working on the new Peanuts movie for Blue Sky, doing some storyboards on that, uh, and uh, before that I was working on the Spongebob movie, doing uh, character layouts, so, yeah, I've been busy. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good sign up piece for Yeah. And, uh, you know, doing Comic Cons and signing autographs, doing sketches, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we have the uh, Royal Canadian uh, Kill the Jack yes. here. This is the, uh, this is an actual uh, historical film which accurately depicts the true, true history of uh, the RCMP, you know. Because people don't realize that, that Mounties ride yaks. Yeah. And, uh, it's a little tidbit of history that most people know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there we go. There it is. Right? Yeah, it's well, the uh, Kilted Yaks movie. Is that the, what was the genesis behind it? The... Um, my ex-partner, John Kay, is Canadian, and uh, he always wanted to make a cartoon about Mounties, so we made one. Go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Do you have any uh, last words for Montreal or uh, Comic-Con? Keep watching cartoons, and if you like to draw and make cartoons, do it yourself. That's, that's my advice. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Bob. Hey, cheers. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bonjour, we're going to talk about the game Heroes Never Lose. Bonjour. Uh, C'est un jeu action puzzler qui ressemble un peu à Dr. Mario ou Tetris, sauf on choisit des super-héros et des super-vilains. On brise des blocs et ça, ça envoie des blocs de l'autre côté et ça, on, ça nous donne comme accès à des attaques super et spéciales. Comme, et, et chaque personnage a ses propres attaques uniques. Comme par exemple, Brain Freeze, lui, il, il euh, euh, met les, les, les blocs de l'autre côté en glace et Firestarter les brûle euh, et ça a des effets différents. Et le point du but, euh, le, pardon, le, le but du jeu, c'est de remplir l'autre côté de Grid au complet avant que l'autre personnage le fasse. Est-ce que le jeu est encore en développement? Oui, le jeu, ça fait deux ans qu'on travaille là-dessus. Euh, mais maintenant, on vient de lancer un Kickstarter pour pouvoir voir les fonds de le finir. Qu'est-ce qui nous manque? En code, c'est complet. Et en design, c'est complet. Euh, mais qu'est-ce qui nous manque? C'est vraiment l'art des pixel art. Ça, c'est pas des personnes qui sont parties de l'équipe qui sont en train de le faire. Fait qu'on veut juste comme, finir l'art des personnages qui manquent avant que le jeu va être fini. Mais pour le moment, il y a juste quelques bug, mais c'est presque complet le jeu. C'est quand la date de sortie? Euh, on, est, on veut faire ce que, que le jeu sort euh, en 2015, en, entre mars et juin. Je sais que c'est un gros range, mais ça, ça dépend de combien de personnages on va ajouter au jeu. Mais disons au plus tard, mi-année euh, l'année prochaine. Merci beaucoup, Samuel. Merci, c'est vraiment gentil. Happy, happy, joy, joy.